What's up, everybody? So we all know that back to school shopping is right around the corner. And with that being said, uh, Walmart has updated some of their shoes and uh, decided to pick up a pair. These are the and one rooms. I got them for like 21 bucks. Uh, and we include Walmart shipping and uh, taxes. It all totals would be about 30 bucks. So let's get into it. So this is the shoe box that it comes in. It's your typical unbranded box. And it has like a little information of your sneaker right here. Um, but this is just, it's not a shock. This is just how Walmart packages their shoes. They just don't prioritize packaging at all. Um, so let's open up the box now. So here is the and one room. And to be honest with you, the photos on the website don't do it justice. They look really good. I mean, I really do feel like every time M1 releases a new shoe for Walmart, it just gets better and better. Even with the material, uh, it just looks better. It feels like the details that they're, they're paying attention to a lot of details for, you know, um, 20 something bucks. Like they're paying attention to a lot. I mean, if you look at the tread at the bottom, it's pretty good. You have your N1 branding at the bottom. You got a little glue. As you can see, it's a little sloppy with the glue, but that, that's okay. You have synthetic leather on the back with and one branding. Up here, I was trying to figure out what type of material this was going to be up top because I couldn't tell if it was a mesh or if it just looked like it was a mesh, but it really wasn't. And it feels like it feels like mesh, but it feels like it's not thin enough um like your and one knits that i discussed on there on here and it won't be like your um and one coach ones where they're like your slip on sneakers it's not going to be like that they're not that thin but it is it is like a, a fabric material and it feels really good and then you have you know just it looks like they just laid a little like some it's hard to really describe the material guys but it's it's just something just to add over. I don't think that it really means anything right here. It's just design, but it feels good. You have your N1 branding on your tongue. It's really padded around the ankle. That insole feels good. It's not removable, but it feels good though. And that's really it. The just, oh yeah. And you have your N1 branding on the inside of your shoe on the inside of your foot. The color looks great. It doesn't look as loud as I thought it was going to, to look. I was kind of debating with these sneakers because I was like, I don't know. These things look like they're gonna be kind of loud to the point where they look tacky. And then I couldn't tell if all the material put together was actually gonna look good in person. But I will say that I really like it. And I just feel that M1 keeps trying. They're very consistent with trying to update their designs and you know um make them not really look like 20 to 20 buck sneakers i mean i think that if you didn't know i don't think that you would be able to tell that these sneakers only cost like 21 dollars in store you know i don't think you would be able to tell they look good they're really light they're really light i was wondering if they were going to feel clunky or not and there's nothing on the back but to be real with you it's kind of clean when you you compare how sloppy paint jobs, not paint jobs, but glue jobs can be on these type of sneakers. They're pretty clean looking. That camo, that camo design is not gaudy. I thought it was gonna be gaudy. I was debating, like I really was. I went about, I went around on this thing, on these shoes for like four or five days debating if I was gonna order these or not. And surprisingly, they look really good. And I like the fact that the N1 um, label is lifted off of the tongue to give some texture to it. You got your nice little pull tab on the back. The laces look really nice too. It doesn't have any more information on the shoe you know, other than, you know, Walmart, size 13, 2284, that's the official price. Um, other than that, these sneakers look 
great. They look great. I cannot complain at all. That gum bottle is nice. That is nice. So after trying on these sneakers, what is my final verdict on this shoe? Is it worth buying? Is it not worth buying? What's up with it, all right? So I have to say hands down, maybe it's just me. Maybe I have beer taste. Maybe I have beer taste. Maybe I have too much of a budget-friendly mindset. But it just seems to me that the shoes that cost less tend to be the most comfortable. Because it seems like all the higher brand shit when you start getting into the ones that are really costly, they seem to not be as comfortable for some reason. I don't know what it is. I really don't. But these shoes fit true to size. They're extremely comfortable. There is no break-in period. It's like as soon as you put them on, they're ready to go. They're ready to go. So that's always great. Um, I recommend this for people that back to school shopping, you're on a budget, Maybe you just want to want to treat yourself to a new pair of sneakers, but you don't want to break the bank just to buy a pair of basketball shoes. Um, or just anybody who just wants some daily beaters. You know, if you just want some sneakers, these are nice looking shoes. They're nice. They feel good on the feet. I mean, that padded tongue is everything. That padded tongue is nice. I'm telling you, like when you put it on, you don't even feel it. You don't feel it. That pillow cushion around the ankle feels great. It feels great. Uh, the cushion on the inside, nice. I mean, you can't complain about any of this. What really would have set this shoe off, to be honest with you, is if they put their memory foam um, insoles in these. If they put that memory foam insole inside of these, like they put in their like their slip on sneakers, this would have set this off completely. Um, the only thing that I would say that I'm concerned with is the camo whatever material they used over the um, fabric material, I feel like it might have the potential to separate and, and look like crap, but that's about it, you know? But for the price that you spent, they put a lot of detail into this sneaker. And I think that's what I was so shocked by. I'm like, wow, that actually looks really good. I mean, you have, and one has some shoes that look really nice. And I just feel like they are very consistent. They're getting better and better every time they put something else on at Walmart. It just gets better and better. But I do feel like this has to be by far their best. They didn't make a lot of mistakes with this one. This one feels great. This one looks great. Um, I could recommend this for any age group. They don't run narrow. They fit true to size. I mean, like, I, I can't really complain about this sneaker too much i just feel that i can't believe that it's it's so cheap i mean what you're spending like 21 22 for this shoe um and also this is gonna sound really stupid but i'm shocked at the price that you spent for this you get these they actually put these in the shoe they put these in the shoe I mean, normally they just stuff maybe some paper in it. Maybe it might not have paper in it or whatever, but they actually took the time to put these in the sneaker. That's a lot of detail. That's a lot of detail. You know, if you didn't know that these were shoes that you could pick up at Walmart, if you didn't know the brand and you just saw them out and about, I don't think people would think instantly, oh, those are 20 something dollar shoes. I don't think so. Um, I really believe that if you just swish the, swish the and one and put a swoosh on the side, these things will sell. 
like crazy. And people wouldn't think anything about it. But honestly, these are some great shoes. And if you have the opportunity, if you're still hesitant about ordering them offline, if you have the opportunity, go to your local Walmart and try them on. They feel amazing. They feel amazing on the foot. I really like them. To be real with you, out of all the sneakers that I've spent money on, I've spent $60 on, on certain shoes, sometimes even $70 on a pair of shoes. I will say that these are probably my most comfortable picks. They're my most comfortable picks. And one tends to be my most comfortable sneaker. And they feel great on foot. They feel great. Um, so yeah, I definitely would recommend this shoe. Um, if you like this video, make sure to thumbs it up. Hit that subscribe button. And we're out. Thanks for watching.